Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I have a really fun video for all of you. I wanna show you my favorite top five video hacks in Microsoft Teams. Video hacks, what are those? Well, instead of me trying to explain, why don't we take a quick look to see what these are? Hack number one, I can set up a glass or a transparent whiteboard in front of me. So look at this, I can start annotating my screen and it all appears right in front of me. Along with annotations here, I could also throw up post-it notes and place it wherever I want on the screen. Hack number two, you can present in front of a PowerPoint presentation. It makes it a little bit easier for your audience to follow along. And I know Microsoft Teams is eventually going to officially support this, but in the meantime, you can use this video hack. Hack number three, you can let your audience know that your meeting will be starting shortly. And once you're ready to go, you can simply come onto your camera and start speaking with your audience. But maybe it's a really long meeting and nature calls, so you should probably let your audience know that you'll be right back. And hack number four, you can show your company's branding or maybe your school mascot with your name and your title as part of your video. Check that out. And the very last hack, at the very end of your meeting, you can even show credits on top of your video just to let everyone know that the meeting is wrapping up. Ooh, those are some pretty cool video hacks. And I'll show you step-by-step step how you can recreate each one of them. Now, one of my regrets about leaving Microsoft is unfortunately, I don't have as many meetings anymore, or maybe fortunately. And that means I can't use these video hacks, but hopefully you'll be able to use them at your school or in your organization. All right, well, let's jump on the PC and let's see how we could create these video hacks. To get started with these video hacks, we first need to get some software called OBS. OBS stands for Open Broadcaster Software, and you can download it at the website obsproject.com. I've also included a link to this website in the description of this video. With OBS, you can record your screen, you can also stream, and you can also set up something called a virtual camera. We're gonna set up all of these different effects in OBS, then we'll set up a virtual camera, which will send it off to Microsoft Teams. And don't worry if that sounds confusing, we'll walk through all of these steps one by one. You can install OBS on Windows, Mac, or Linux, so it works on all of the different operating systems. Go ahead and choose your OS and then run through the install process. Also, I'm not gonna go through the basics of how to use OBS today. I'm purely going to focus on the video hacks. If you're also interested in just learning the fundamentals of how you use OBS, I've included a link to a tutorial video that I recorded on OBS. With OBS, you'll be able to pull off most of these meeting hacks. For the second one though, where you present in front of a PowerPoint presentation, you need a little bit extra hardware. You need a green screen. And a green screen runs for about anywhere between 15 all the way up to $100, depending on the quality. But even with a $15 green screen, you should be able to pull off this effect pretty effectively. Or even if you have a green blanket at home, that should work as well. Now that you have OBS and maybe you have a green screen, let's jump in and start pulling off some of these video effects. The first one is the glass or the transparent whiteboard. This is a really neat effect. To be able to pull this off, we need one more piece of software and that's the Microsoft whiteboard. And don't worry, this is free to download. Open up the Microsoft Store app on Windows 10 and then up in the top right hand corner, click on search. Within the search field, type in whiteboard and you should see the best match for the Microsoft whiteboard. Click on that. This opens up Microsoft Whiteboard, and if you don't have it yet, go ahead and click on Install. Once you have it, let's launch the whiteboard. Now that you have the Whiteboard app installed, open up OBS, and we are now ready to start composing our scene. Right down at the bottom under Sources, let's click on the plus icon, and first let's add our video. So right here in the list, let's click on Video Capture Device. This is basically your webcam or your camera hooked up to your computer. I'll leave the default name and click on OK. And here right now I see myself through the integrated webcam, but I'll click on this list with all my devices to switch it to my cam link. So right now you can see me here on the screen. This looks great, so I'm gonna click OK. Now you should see your video use up the entire space right here. If it doesn't, you can right click on the source and you can go to resize output and that'll ensure that your video feed fills up the full scene space. Next, we wanna add the whiteboard so it appears on top of us. So right down here, once again, let's click on the plus icon and this time let's click on window capture. I'll leave the default name and click on okay. Here now it shows me the window capture properties and here there's a drop down for the window. Here I see all the different windows on my PC. Let's select the one that says Microsoft Whiteboard. Then let's click on okay. 
you should now see your whiteboard image on top of the video. Let's go ahead and adjust the whiteboard image so it uses up the full screen. Next, we want the whiteboard to appear transparent so it sits on top of my image. Right over here on the window capture, let's click on that and then go over here to the option that says filters. When you click on filters, let's go down to the plus icon and over here, let's add a color key. Basically what we wanna do is tell OBS that white is the transparent color. Here, I'll click on OK, and here now I can choose the key color type. Right now it's set to green, but I can change it to a custom color. Here, I'll click on select color, and let me change it to white. And then I'll click on OK, and then we'll click on close. So right now you can see that the whiteboard canvas is now transparent. Next, I can now start drawing in the whiteboard app and that'll appear above my image. So here I could draw a green line and all of this is appearing right in front of me. Within the whiteboard app, I could go down and I could use any of the whiteboard tools. So once again, here's the post-it note and I could place this wherever I want on the screen. Now let's say I don't want any of this Chrome to appear around my screen. So here, for example, you see this border, you see the back button within the whiteboard app. Here I could simply adjust the borders here so I can hide all of that. Here I'll reposition this window so now I don't see any Chrome of the app. As an alternative, I can also right click on window capture down below and once again, I can go back to filters. Within filters, I can add a crop filter. With a crop filter, I can specify the edges of the window that I wanna capture as part of OBS. So let's say that the header, or maybe you have the tools on the bottom, if I don't want them to appear within my video image, I can crop all of those out. Okay, so we have the transparent or the glass whiteboard all set up. How do we now get this over to Microsoft Teams? Down in the right-hand corner, there's an option called Start Virtual Camera. Let's click on that button, and then we'll hop over to Microsoft Teams. Within Microsoft Teams, when you're joining a meeting, right over here I see that my camera is currently turned off. Right down here in the right-hand corner, you'll see a settings gear. Click on this and this will open up a pane on the right-hand side with all of the different device settings. At the very bottom, you can select your camera. Here I see all the cameras that are connected to my computer. With OBS, you should see a new one called the OBS Virtual Camera. When I select this, this will take the feed from OBS. Now that I've selected that, over here I'll turn my camera on and check that out. You can now see my video with all of the annotations. So whatever annotations I make will now show up through my video feed. And you might be thinking, well, hey, isn't this in reverse? Well, when I see my video here in the preview, it's in reverse, but any attendee who joins the meeting will see it the proper way. Once I'm ready to join the meeting, let's click on join now. Here, for example, Patty is currently in my meeting and this is her view within Microsoft Teams and she sees all of the annotations, the post-it note, all in the correct orientation. Back within my view in Microsoft Teams, if I wanna ensure that my video is the spotlight, I can click on the participant icon on top. Here I see all the participants in the meeting and when I click on the ellipsis, I have the option to spotlight me. And here, let's click on Spotlight. This will ensure that I am the main video and everyone will see me versus just as a little square in the bottom corner. This now brings us to video hack number two. We wanna present in front of a PowerPoint presentation. As a first step, open up your presentation in PowerPoint and then you can throw it into presentation mode. With PowerPoint now in presentation mode, just like before, let's go down to sources and click on the plus icon. Here, let's click on window capture. Next, let's click on OK. Within Window Capture, let's select the PowerPoint presentation window. Here I see the PowerPoint slideshow with my employee benefit handbook. When I select that, now on the screen, I can see the slides. Next, let's click on OK. With the presentation up, now I wanna put myself in front of the PowerPoint slides. Down on the bottom, let's click on the plus icon and we wanna add the video capture device. This is our video. When we click on this, that looks good. Let's click on OK. And here this opens up all of the cameras. I'll select my CamLink 4K. And for this one, you are going to need a green screen. So throw your green screen in back of you and then click on OK. So right now I'm sitting in front of my green screen. I can't see the PowerPoint slide presentation. I wanna make the green color in back of me transparent. To do that, select the video capture device and then let's click on filters. Within effect filters, click on the plus icon and we wanna add something called a chroma key. Click on this, I'll leave the default name and click on OK. Here you could select your key color type and I have a green screen, so I'll set it to green. 
All that looks good. So next let's click on close. And right now I am now appearing in front of my PowerPoint presentation. One quick note down here in sources, these are different layers. Whatever appears on top is the topmost layer. Whatever shows up on the bottom is the bottommost layer. So if I move my video capture device down, now I'm behind the PowerPoint presentation. Of course, I want to be in front. So I'll pull that so it sits on top. Now, I don't want to be this big because you can't actually see the slides. So I can click on this topmost layer. My video capture device is currently selected and I can now pull and move my video around. If I use the red rectangle here, I can adjust the size. So here I could put myself down in the corner of my PowerPoint presentation and look at this. I can now point at things in my slide presentation and I'm effectively in front of it. Now, just like before, to be able to send this to Microsoft Teams, down here in the bottom right-hand corner, you can click on Start Virtual Camera. For video hack number three, we wanna show a, this meeting is starting shortly screen, and then we also wanna be able to show a Be Right Back screen. So I've already added my video. We already covered this in the earlier video hacks. Down below, click on the plus icon, and this time, let's go up and select a media source. When you click on media source, I'll leave the default name. Let's click on OK. Right here, let's browse on our computer for this video file. If you're interested in using these same video files that I have here, I've included a link to them in the description of this video. Let's click on browse to find the file. I navigated to the file on my computer and it's startsoon.mp4. Down below, there's the option to loop this video file. Let's check that and then click on OK. This now adds the video source and it's the top layer here. So right now it's showing up above my video. Over to the right, you see there's this eye icon. If I wanna hide this video source, I can click on that and now I am in the video feed. But let's say I'm not here yet and I wanna let everyone know that we're starting soon. Here, I'll click on the eye. I can add any number of video files. Here, I created another one called Be Right Back. And let's say I'm back now, I could hide this one, I could hide this one, and now my video is back on. But maybe I have to step on, so let's click on the eye and once again, I will be right back. Just like with the previous video hacks, to send this feed over to Microsoft Teams, over on the right-hand side, click on Start Virtual Camera, and this will be your video feed. For this next one, I wanna show my company logo, my name, and also my title on my video. To do that, instead of adding a video feed like in video hack number three, we're gonna add an image file. Right down below under sources, click on the plus icon and go up to image. Here, I'll leave the default name and click on OK. Let's browse to the image file on your computer. Right here, I see a PNG with my name logo. I'll click on that and here I can see a preview of it. I'll click on OK. And here now I see my logo and I can position this wherever I want on the screen. So maybe I'll have a really nice prominent logo over there and then I could sit over to the side of it. So while I'm presenting, especially if I'm in the spotlight, everyone can see my logo oh, over on that side. Everyone can see my logo, my name and my title. So pretty cool stuff. If you're wondering, well, how did I create my logo and my nameplate? Well, it's really easy. You could even do it within Microsoft PowerPoint. Here I set up my logo and I also added my name and my title right in here. Once you're done designing it, you can highlight your design and then simply right click and you can go down to save as picture. Then you can save your file and you can load that in OBS. This now brings us to the very last hack of today and that's for ending credits. And we're gonna add this just like we did all of the other video hacks. Down below, let's go down to sources, click on the plus icon and we wanna add credits and that's text. So let's click on text. Here, I'll leave the default name and click on OK. Right here, I can paste in the text that I wanna use and I'll paste this text in. You could also go through and you could format your text. You could adjust the color of the font. For now, I'm just gonna leave the default just to demonstrate how this works. I'll click on OK. So right now I have all of my text appearing on the screen. And just like we could do before, I can click on the text and I can adjust the position. Here, I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller. Maybe I'll have the uh, credits run down on the side of me. So I'll sit over here and then we'll have the credits running on that side. Now to make them move, let's click on the text and over here, let's click on filters. When I click on filters, click on the plus icon and there's a filter for scroll. So click on that and then click on okay. Now you could set up a horizontal scroll. So that's kind of neat if especially you watch different news networks when they have the horizontal bar on the bottom with scrolling text, you could set that up or you could set up a vertical scroll. So if you want say movie credits and here you could adjust the speed of your credits. So here I'll maybe go with, let's say about 270 or 280. 
and then I'll click on close. So now at the very end of my meeting, I can have credit start scrolling next to me. So also very easy to set up. You're probably getting the idea now that OBS has lots of rich functionality. When you click on the plus menu, there's all sorts of stuff you could bring in. You can bring in apps, you could bring in text, images, videos, and then you can feed all of this into Microsoft Teams. So there's tons and tons of rich functionality. Once again, just like we've been doing all along to be able to get this into Microsoft Teams in the bottom right hand corner, you can start your virtual camera and then select the OBS virtual camera in Microsoft Teams. And then voila, this video feed will show up in Microsoft Teams. All right, well, that's how you can create some pretty awesome and compelling video hacks in Microsoft Teams. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. To see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you wanna see any other topics on this channel, leave a comment down below. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye.